Thank you for tuning in to How to Create Animations. This is the basics presented by Shebro Direction LTD. First, you want to go to Vyond.com. That's V-Y-O-N-D.com. You want to log in. If you don't have an account, you can have a free trial for about two weeks. And that lets you see all the site capabilities before you commit to buy. But once you're registered, you want to go ahead and log in. And they do give you a tour of different um, capabilities of the site. So you can see all your videos on the side. You have your trash bin. And then your current videos, the most recent ones are listed. So first you want to click on create a video. They do have three different styles, contemporary, then business friendly, which is the one that I most commonly use, and then whiteboard animation. I've never used that one. So let's click on business friendly. they will always um, pre-fill a slide so first let's show the icons or the options that you have so this is the upload button where you can upload your own things like sounds this is the character button where you can look at different characters they already created or you can create your own by pressing this button and we'll do that later then you have the prop button where you can find different things such as rugs and then the good thing about it is you can click on each other style and use those rugs as well so you're not just limited to the the style that you originally started with and then they have charts for people that do that for HR because there's a business account and then we have the text and like I said, the text uh, can also be used on any style as well. And we'll get into that later. All right, and then you can have the audio. And this is how you add your own audio. Doing the voice recording, you can do mic recording. And then text to speech. So those are the two we use. And then you also can find voice talent, which that does cost money. Alright, so these are all the pre-filled background music and different sound effects. So you can just try them out before you add them to your video. Just play it, pause and play, simple enough. And they have various amounts, so I think it's pretty good. Alright, so what I usually do is I go to the top and I will title my video. So we'll make this test video. And then I don't like this template because what I'm doing has nothing to do with Office. So I'm going to go to the replace button. So this is the replace button. It will replace the entire scene. If you only want to replace one thing, you would click on that one thing. We can also change the background by doing patterns or locations. We can always switch to business friendly or contemporary. So let's see. And you can always change the colors of the current background as well. Just depending on the scene. So we wanted to change it and it, there is a slight delay so you may not see the colors change until after the fact my apologies change the floor so yeah simple things like that all right and then this button is a transition button so basically if you wanted to have an enter or exit effect on the scene then you would click that transition button so let's click on replace let's just change it to a room so okay 
All right, so we just changed the entire scene. All the people are gone and everything. That's what happens when you do replace. So now let's just play around with colors. So I don't like the way the pipes are looking. I think I want to change them to gray. That seems more industrial to me. So let's change them all to gray. So just click on each item and make it gray. Okay, great. All right. So now let's add people. So let's go to characters. I would go to uh, business professionals. No, I think it's going to be industrial. Yeah, industrial would be better. So that way we can get some people to actually work in a factory. All right. So we got these two guys already pre-made characters. All right, so let's just say we want them to do an action. So when you click on a person, you click on action, and then you can type in what you want or you can scroll through the things there. So I typed in walking. So let's just find the walking I want him to do. Okay, walking with his hands in his pocket. I want to walk towards the other guy, so I'm going to right click on my mouse. I'm going to flip his action, and then now he's facing the appropriate way. Now I've got to make sure I click him again, and this is the motion path. This is showing where he's going. So you click on that, and let's make him go a straight line ahead. Now it usually stops, and see how he's behind this guy? We want to make him be in the front, so we're going to right click on him again. And then click on order and then bring to front so now he's going to be in front of this gentleman so now let's see how where he stops so based off of that we always want to preview so he's like right there stopping in front of him don't really like that so let's make him go all the way out the scene so you right click on the mouse click on add point and then pull that longer so he's out of the full scene duration so now let's make this guy, I'm going to make him read something where he's not really paying attention. Just a normal day at the office, well, at the factory. All right, so let's preview that. So he's just walking by and there we go. All right, so now he walked out the scene. So now... What we want to do is continue the scene because we want to continue the story. So now this guy is standing here. Let's say something else happens. So let's just make him walk out the scene. And we don't have the ability to have him walk with the clipboard. So what we'll have to do is a camera trick on this one. So we'll have him walking. It's kind of find, hard to find just a regular walk. I don't know why. There it is. Okay. All right. So walking. And then we're going to add a camera so it doesn't show his hands. Because remember, he was just looking at the clipboard. More than likely, if somebody walks away, they're carrying that same clipboard as they're walking. But we don't have the ability to do that. So this, we don't need it. So then we're going to add a camera movement so the camera follows him as he goes. I might have to play around with it because he may move too fast. So let's see, we gotta make sure we get him a motion path where he's walking the right way. Add the point on there and then pull him out the scene. So let's preview it from the top. Okay, so I like how he's moving but I think the camera is moving too slow compared to him walking. So what I'll do is I'll minimize that and maybe I'll make the camera movement a little bit slow mm. still more of him still more of the camera than him actually moving so let's just move that closer and see how that looks let's move that back no point is to be able to see him at least 
walking out of the scene. It's like it's too long. So yeah, this is just a minor, minor fixes here that we're just trying to make it perfect. All right, so now let's continue. Let's make a new scene. So let's do like they're at the break room at work. Um, more than likely, uh, let's see. Might have to type in eating or something. have so many templates to choose from okay office pantry that's what they call it okay so let's choose this one now you see how the scene already has people in it we don't want these people we want these people that we already have on the scene so it just seems like they went to lunch so we're going to click on that person click replace and then to make sure we get the exact person we go to video contents and it shows the people that are currently in the video so let's we'll switch him for him and then we're going to take him out and swap him for him. And then let's make this lady. We're going to add a new character. Let's do. Him. Okay. So now we got three guys in the back room talking. Let's put some food in here to make it more realistic. So make sure we're on the right one because the contemporary style kind of makes things look not realistic like this one. So we'll just do this one. Stack the pizzas up. Got one open on the top. That looks good. And then we'll make him... Let's see if they have any pizza eating. Nope, they don't have any pizza eating. So I'm just going to take this. I was going to take the sandwich out of his hand, but might as well eat it. All right, so he's going to be talking. So you go to the um, expressions tab and you go down to the different types of lip syncs. It's technically no lip sync, so it's all about editing and make it seem like this person is saying exactly what you're putting. So we're going to add a camera, and then we're going to make another camera zoom in on him. So it's all right, and then let's add a scene transition. So let's put a fade in here and make fade to black. Oh, make sure we put it on the right scene. It has to be on the scene that you're currently going to. So fade to black. Got it. All right. So now let's preview. Okay, going to lunch. All right. So then, so it's like he's talking. All right. Now. So let's click exit and let's continue the scene. So continue the scene. So he was talking. So now let's go to this guy, make him talk. Make sure we uh, change his expression. And we don't know what they're talking about. We haven't wrote a script. So it's pretty much just, uh, just playing around with it. Let's add another scene. Let's have him talking. Now we gotta stop him from eating the sandwich, so let's put talk. Let's see. Yeah, we'll have him do that one. And then we gotta make sure we change his he's angry. Just to show the types of emotions that you can do on this application. Alright, go on to lunch.
Now it looks like they're arguing about something. Probably make that first scene a little bit longer. Just because it really doesn't appear that he got to say everything he needs to say. And then let's try to make a blank scene to do a, a title page. So this is how you do a title page. You add the text. Then you can always change the font, change the color, add an enter effect. Let's try to do cool enter effect let's see what it looks like so we can do something like that or we can do something like that or we can do something like that I think I like that one so that's how we'll do this one so let's start from the top test video okay Walking, going to lunch, okay, looks pretty good, now you know how to start off a video. So we can always continue the scene, who's talking next, act like she's talking to him now. And you know, and so on until the story is fully told. Just making a dramatic effect here. So what I want to do is have him talking. He gets really angry. And then this guy is looking sad about the outcome of the conversation. So let's start from the top. You always want to preview to make sure everything is perfect. Perfect. Looks like a video about something, <laughs> something dramatic happening. <laughs>